Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GSA PUC Mysore. This is the fourth session of the fourth chapter that is uh, passive electronic components. In our last sessions, we saw the different types of fixed resistor. In today's session, we will be dealing with the different types of variable resistor. So, variable resistors. Under that, we are having three different types that is a uh, potentiometer, preset as well as rheostat. You are going to see the rheostat in the physics lab and now in today's session, we will be seeing what is called as a potentiometer. Potentiometer is one of the type of a variable resistor and this potentiometer can be called as the carbon composition type of variable resistor carbon composition type of variable resistor because again uh, this potentiometer which is also called as carbon composition type is named as carbon composition because we are going to use what is called as carbon. I already told you that depending upon the material what we are going to use in order to construct these resistors, we are going to name the resistor. Since carbon are the most important uh, particle uh, which is used in this uh, potentiometer, it is also called as the carbon composition type of resistors. So these uh, potentiometers consist of a circular strip which is almost equal to 3 fourth of the ring. So, it is circular in shape so here we will be having one more strip which is almost 3 fourth. So, here this one side of the strip will be connected to one knob, the other side will be connected to the second knob and at the center we will be having a rotating shaft. For that rotating shaft we will be having a disc. So, this is the third connection. So, this is the structure of a, a potentiometer. These are the leads A, three leads and this can be rotated or this can be moved uh, in a circular manner. This is the resistive element that is nothing but the carbon and this is a rotating dial. So, this is a schematic uh, diagram of a potentiometer where it contains a disc which is almost 3 fourth of the ring. On this disc carbon particles will be deposited and a moving arm will be connected to the shaft. So, by rotating that moving arm, the value of the resistance can be included from 0 to maximum. So, this is the 0 resistance of this resistor. By rotating this arm or by turning the position of the uh, moving arm, I can include the resistance value from this position to the entire this position. This is the 0th position whereas this is the maximum position. So, by moving the moving arm or by rotating rotating the moving arm, I can include the resistance value of the resistor to any different values. Since we are using carbon particles in these uh, potentiometers, these are called as carbon composition types of resistors and the variation in the potentiometer can be linear or logarithmic. So, this is the potentiometer and coming to the applications of these potentiometers, applications, the first one is tone control in radio and TV, volume and brightness control, in TV and the other one is speed control in fan regulators, in fan regulators. So, we will be having regulators 
uh, which helps in controlling the speed of the fan so there we are going to use a potentiometer so if you are going to clearly observe the regulator will be circular in shape on which we will be having a moving arm so by rotating that moving arm we can control the speed of that fan so these are the major three applications of this potentiometer the one is tone control in radio and tv volume and brightness control in tv as well as uh, speed control in uh, the uh, fan regulators. Now we will move on to the next type of variable resistor that is the preset. These presets are also another type of these variable resistor. These presets are nothing but the potentiometers whose size will be very very small and they can be placed on the PCBs. That is it will be like a uh, SMD resistors that is surface mount device resistors. But in the SMD resistor the value of the resistance value cannot be changed but here these presets the resistance value in these presets can be changed by using a small screwdriver during the alignment. So preset is also another type of a potentiometer which can be placed on the PCB boards and the value of the resistance can be changed use with the help of a screwdriver during the alignment. That is there will be a screw like structure on these presets by changing the uh, position of the screw we can change the resistance value. And uh, coming to the applications of these presets, these presets are most widely used in TV receivers and also in electronic circuits for calibration purpose. So these are the very two important applications of these presets. Now we will move on to the next topic that is importance of power rating in resistors. Whenever the current flows through the circuit or whenever the current flow through the resistor, the power will be dissipated by the resistor in the form of heat. So the maximum amount of power a resistor can withstand without getting damage is called as power rating of a resistor. So the maximum power a resistor can handle a resistor can handle without damaging itself is called as power rating in the last session itself, I think in the second session itself, I told you that if the resistor is not able to handle a very high current, then the resistor will burn out itself. So uh, there is some limit for each and every resistor. If that limit is crossed, that is if that uh, limit is crossed in the sense, if the current carrying capability of that resistor is increased to a larger extent, then that resistor will burn out by itself. So the power rating will be present for each and every resistor. We have to make sure that the power uh, what the resistor is handling is within the specified range what is being specified by the manufacturers. So the maximum power which a resistor can handle without getting damage is called as the power rating of a resistor. And the electrical power dissipation of a resistor in a DC circuit can be calculated using any of these three formulas P is equal to V into I, P is equal to I square into R and P is equal to V square divided by R where V is nothing but the voltage, V is nothing but the voltage, I is nothing but the current and R is nothing but the resistance of the resistor. So with the help of these three or uh, we using any of these three formulas you can easily find out the power rating of the given resistor. There are three main problems in the resistor that is open circuit, short circuit and aging of a resistor. Open circuit, second one is short circuit and the last aging of the resistors. These are the common three problems what we are going to face uh, while uh, using these resistors. So what is this open circuit? In the very first session of this chapter, I told you that resistors are used to protect the circuit elements. So how these resistors are going to protect the elements uh, which is used in the circuit? So there is a maximum power uh, handling capability of each and every resistor. If 
the current flowing in the uh, resistor or if the current flowing through that resistor has reached its maximum value then the resistor will burn out by itself and the circuit will become open suppose i am having a circuit like this here i am having a rl here i am having a source so this is equal to rl and here let me call this as some other resistor which is named as r1 Suppose I am increasing this source or I am increasing the voltage across this source. With the increase in the voltage across the source, the current will also increase. I am, I'll reach a position where the current handling capability of this resistor will become maximum. As soon as that maximum value of uh, power rating has reached, this resistor will burn out this resistor burn out i tone here the circuit will become open now if i want the current to flow in a circuit i want a closed circuit but here since the resistor has burned out itself the circuit has become open then the current will not be able to reach this rl so this resistor by burning out itself has protected the other elements of the circuit if i want to consider this particular circuit this resistor r1 is protecting rl so this is one of the major applications of this uh, resistor open circuit and the held when a large current flows through the circuit or when large current flows through the resistor the resistor will burn out by itself and it opens the circuit in the open circuit the resistance will be very very high the resistance will be equal to infinity ideally held the resistance must be equal to infinity only when the resistance value is equal to infinity then the current will not be able to flow that is the current will be equal to zero in case of an open circuit so in an open circuit whenever the heavy currents flow through the resistor the, the resistor will burn out itself by opening the circuit in such a condition the resistance value across that open circuit will be equal to infinity and the current flowing through that resistor or the current flowing through that open circuit will be equal to zero now what exactly is this short circuit short circuit is nothing but a circuit which is having a zero resistance zero resistance and the head uh, in one of the problems we have discussed about this i am having one resistor like this but across that resistor i am just shorting uh, the two terminals of the resistor here i am having one more resistor here i am having a source uh, let me consider the resistance value of this resistor as 2 ohm and this as 3 ohm okay if i am not having this short then the total resistance of this particular circuit is 2 plus 3 because these two resistors are in series but suppose i was having another resistor like this which is uh, whose value is equal to 3 ohms and the corner now i want to calculate the total resistance of this circuit and the hildanga. what i am going to do i will tell that this 3 ohm and this 3 ohm are in parallel and this parallel combination is in series with this 2 ohms right but if i am going to remove this 3 ohms and short this in then this 3 ohm resistor will be shorted with the help of this branch so the total resistance of this particular resistor or uh, the total resistance of this particular circuit is just equal to 2 ohms why this 3 ohm resistor is in parallel with this line which is not having any resistance value so r will be equal to 0 in this particular case because uh, i have shorted that these two ends now if i am going to consider these two branches this 3 ohm resistor and a resistor whose value is equal to 0 ohms are in parallel so i am going to use a direct formula to calculate the total resistance of these two branches that is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 in this case let me consider this as r1 and this as r2 r1 value is 3 ohm r2 value is 0 so 3 into 0 divided by 3 plus 0 so the total resistance will be equal to 0 so the total resistance of a resistor which is shorted will be equal to 0 so according to this diagram the total or the overall uh, resistance value of this circuit is 
just 2 ohms because I am shorting this 3 ohm. So, it is equal to 2 ohms. So, in the shorted circuit, the resistance value will be equal to 0. This is in case of an ideal one. But practically, resistance value will never be equal to 0. So, what exactly is short circuit resistor? Short circuit resistor is nothing but a resistor is nothing but a resistor whose resistance value is equal to 0. Now let us try to understand what exactly is this aging of this resistor. The value of the resistance or the resistance value of a resistor will deteriorate with age or uh, will deteriorate when it is used for a longer period of time. So whenever the uh, resistor is used for a longer period of time, then its tolerance value will vary. So what exactly is this aging of this resistor? Deterioration in the resistance value of the resistor due to long period of usage is called as aging or resistor. So these are the common three problems what we are going to see in the resistor that is open circuit resistor, short circuit resistor and aging of resistor. So power rating is playing a very important role in this resistor. What exactly is this power rating? The maximum power uh, which can be handled by the resistor without getting damaged is called as the power rating and the power rating for each and every resistor will be specified accordingly we have to make sure that the current will not cross that maximum limit. So for calculating power uh, handling of any of the resistor I can use any of these three formulas that is V into I, I square into R or V square divided by R where V is nothing but the voltage, I is the current and R is the resistance. So let me conclude this session at this point. In my next session, I'll be coming with a new topic that is color coding of resistor. We'll be solving some problems on the color coding of resistors too. Until my next session, take care. Bye-bye.